Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John, this is many a true nerd and welcome to Contraband Police, which, okay, so imagine if we took papers, please, and said, what if it was a big, dumb 3D simulator with wonky physics where occasionally there were also car chases, shootouts, and explosions? Because, oh, that just sounds like a dumb good time to me. So we're jumping in today at the start of chapter 2 because the first chapter is basically just tutorials, though to my mind yes, it's very easy to get your head around the basics. The year is 1981 and these lovely individuals would like to cross the border, so we're going to make sure that they're allowed to do so. And step one is pretty simple. Make sure, for example, details are consistent between entry permits and passports. Make sure documents aren't expired. If they're carrying cargo, make sure their cargo manifest matches up with what's actually inside the vehicle. But, um, yes, where things get a bit interesting is the contraband bit of this contraband simulator. For you see, some of these bastards might be trying to smuggle goods into my nation, and uh, yes indeed, we can't allow that to happen even if they've got the right paperwork. So fortunately, the country's intelligence network has got some hints for me. So every day on the board as we begin work, yes, there's going to be some new rules showing up. Permanent rules, so for example on this occasion, yes, people from the kingdom of Urke, they're apparently bastards now, so no goods are allowed in. So okay, just nip over to my lovely little book right here, and uh, Kingdom of Urke. Anyone whose documentation is uh, in this colour, or has a little crown on it. Those people are not allowed to bring in cargo. Gotcha. And then there's the smugglers. So yes, these are one-off individuals, not general rules. So uh, okay, one guy right here, vehicle colour green. So green vehicles, uh, be extra attentive to them. And while in general people from Albrak are allowed inside, one individual Albrak person may possibly be a smuggler on this occasion. And finally, a driver aged 39. So okay, it's currently 1981. So anyone born about 1942 we might want to be, yes, paying attention to. Gotcha. Right, in which case, time to summon in the first vehicle and... Uh, buddy. I can't help but notice your vehicle's green. Everybody get down on the ground, we've got a green vehicle. Okay, we're not allowed to shoot him just yet, but it's not a crime to, you know, just point a gun at him, just for fun. So, okay, buddy, let's just crack open the door, hide there. Let's just, you know, see your documents as a starting point before we start, you know, pulling you out of vehicles, etc, etc. So, okay, buddy, what if we... Oh. Okay. Kingdom of Urke, you're not allowed in with cargo full stop. So, right, crack open the inspection report, enter regulations. You've already failed that, dear oh flipping dear, but we need to do the job properly. Varlik Karabave, Varlik Karabave, Varlik Karabave, that's correct. Passport number would appear to be, that looks correct to me. But buddy, 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 let's, you know, as a starting point, just crack open my confirmed cargo. We're going to need to unpack this because, yes, I can't really count it while it's inside your vehicle. So if I just go over to this here, we'll end up, uh, yes, unpacking all of it and just moving it over to my station for an exam. Lovely. And now I can count it like this, by the way. You literally just hold the mouse button over the cargo and you automatically count it up. So you know how much is here, which is absolutely delightful. Just count up all of this too, because when we file the paperwork, it's got to be correct. So, okay, we've now counted what he's got. We now compare that to the manifest. So, wine, correct, potatoes, correct, apples, correct. Okay, it is technically correct, but we know we're on the lookout for a green vehicle, and we know you're not actually allowed in any way. And speaking of which, hang on, just double check. Are you a bold guy? Yeah, you know what? You're a decent fit for the photo, so that's okay. But we know a green vehicle could be trouble. So put the board away and crack out the, yes, searchlight. This lets me spot potential problems. And in particular, the cargo. Some of it might not be legit. But just because, you know, he's in a green van doesn't mean that, you know, he's guaranteed to be the person we're looking for. 
He might not be, but I'm going to, you know, properly search the vehicle. Make sure we get, you know, right up inside. Check the tires, check the engine, everything. Okay, sir, I'd like you to step out of the vehicle, please, because I'm on the lookout for anything that seems uh, suspicious. Any form of uh, contraband. But I'm increasingly suspicious, actually. He might be a red herring. Right, double-check the inspection report. Yes, he's actually passed on everything, with the exception of uh, he's yeah, from the wrong country. So as a result of that, uh, my good friend, Maximoff, you, sir, return the cargo to the van, because we can't steal the cargo just because he's from the wrong place. We just, you know, don't let it in. I'm afraid, yes, denied on grounds of uh, you're from the wrong country. So he has been rejected. We were definitely right to reject him. But yes, he may or may not have been the individual we were looking for in a green vehicle. Also, that just took us a lot of time. Luckily, the next two are cars, so that should be easier. And uh, perfect. He wasn't actually the green person we were looking for. So, oh my goodness, I love your tiny car. Oh, that's adorable. Right, open the door so I can see him a bit better. Papers, please. Uh, just have a bit of a look-see at this, buddy. Examine his documents. Aidan Solyanov. Yep, that's correct. That is fine too. If you want to, you can just click on things in order to auto-check them, but that does eat your perception meter. Right, everything appears to be in date. He's, uh, he's from Urkel, but hang about, hang about, hang about. It's cargo from Urkel, right? Goods and cargo. Okay, buddy. You need to not have goods. If you've not got goods... That's acceptable. So just uh, let me hop into your car. Need to just double check you don't have a glove box. Nothing in the back. Other than that, just once again, check the things here. He was born 1927. You are looking not bad on 1927, I will say. So he's not the guy we're looking for there. And hang on, the other person was... Uh, Yes, Al Barak. So, not him in that regard. He's probably not the smuggler. As far as I can tell, he's actually allowed him. This is all legit. This is all absolutely fine. He doesn't have cargo. He's not carrying anything. So, yeah, there's no cargo list and there's no entry requirement because he's not bringing anything into the country. You, sir, may carry on your way. Have a good day. Go in peace, etc., etc. Approved, lovely, and on you flipping go. Sorry for using up so much of your day, sir. Also, what time is it now? Okay, it's about 2 p.m. And we haven't actually caught a single smuggler yet. Though I don't know for certain whether all of them are going to show up today or not. So, okay, hopefully he was supposed to be allowed in. Otherwise, we could be in a bit of trouble. Just, you know, bring in the next person right now. Yellow vehicle. So, okay, not the green. We're still looking for, yep, he was fine. So, I'm making good money here. We're still looking for, yeah, 1942 birthday or Al Barak. So, buddy. Buddy, 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 buddy. Let's see some papers, please. Just give him a nice little inspection. Oh, this game's very pleasing. So, okay. He is from... That's us, I think. So, that's fine. Uh, yes, indeed. So, he's carrying luggage. Six luggage. We've also got Walenty Romanovich. Walenty Romanovich. Yep, that's fine. Documents appear to be in date. Passport number is... Uh, acceptable. No immediate problems there whatsoever. Just double check he looks about right. Yep, that's the same lovely sideburns. Marvellous. So we just need to crack this open and uh, okay, I don't think we need to unpack this to be honest. I think we're fine in that regard. Uh, give this a bit more of a go over and hang on. Buddy. Buddy, 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 buddy. Are you? Oh, hang on. What is? Excuse me, sir. I've just located some... Oh, dear. He's trying to bribe me. Well, that... That's unacceptable. Now, hang on. Just check his uh, details here. He was... 1941. Okay, didn't see the 42 because it's May. You, sir, are the smuggler we're looking for. Also, on top of that, your cargo list is incorrect. So, right. Cargo list wrong... And also, you need to be arrested on grounds of smuggling. And on top of that, I'm not done. All right, we are now checking your car for further things that may be hidden. They could be hidden anywhere inside the engine. Put this away so I can see a bit better. Check the... Oh! Well, something is hidden about here. Give this a damn good whacking. Now, does that indicate the tyre? 
Might indicate the tyre. Give the tyre a good breaking open. Okay, there's clearly something. This is the symbol meaning stuff. So we just need to break off a few bits and pieces. Just, just you know, crack a few bits open. I'm so sorry, but I have reason to believe there might be something going on inside your car at this point. Also, there's another symbol right there. So, okay, that needs damn good whacking. Break that off. There we go. We've definitely found some... Oh, we found a lot of cigarettes now. There we go. It wasn't the tires. It was more stuff right here. Right, sir. You have got a lot, and I mean a lot of cocking cigarettes. At this point, stop asking me why I'm doing this. Because I'm doing it because, you know, you are clearly at this point just, uh, you know, carrying a lot of stuff into this country that shouldn't be here. So just keep on keeping on. Keep checking. There is one. Nothing in the glove box. Good, he wasn't that bloody stupid at the bare minimum. I suspect we found a fair whack of what needs to be found here. So, sir... I think at this point we could say yeah. you are very under arrest for your many, many cigarette smuggling crimes. So he now goes in jail. Though we've only got so much space in our jail. At some point we need to take these people round the corner to be like processed or whatever. So, okay. Good, 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 good. Buddy, please get out of my way. I'm not done yet. Also, we need to just dump all of the cigarettes over here. Lovely. So, okay, we've also got limited storage. Eventually, I need to earn enough money to start upgrading this location. Right. Just double-check none of these bags have got symbols on them either. No, they're all fine. That was legit. You, buddy. Clear the inspection zone. This guy is under arrest. So, yeah, we get rid of the cargo. We get rid of the vehicle. And there we go. The smuggling has been thwarted. Beautiful. And, okay. That there was individual... Okay, it's gone because he's been taken care of. But you, sir, have... I thought that was green. It's a brown vehicle. That's fine. Right, sir. Let's me and you have a nice chat. And ideally, you are not going to have broken the law. Okay? I'd like to let more than one person in today. It's already quarter to six. Bloody hell. Right, just get rid of all of this. You are... Yes, you're not carrying cargo. I beck Kurbanov. That seems fine. Passport number is acceptable to me. That is legitimate. You're here for work. Doesn't seem to be suspicious at all. And you are... Okay. You're from... What's a McJibble? Uh, yes. Okay. But that's fine, because you're not carrying any goods. So... I don't think I've really got any reason to, yes, be suspicious of you, to be honest. Honestly, you seem completely 100% legit, because there's no cargo or anything. So, yeah. This one is nice and simple. You, sir, are approved. On you go. It's nice for there to be, you know, a nice easy one. I'll just uh, shut your door for you. You just keep on keeping on. I'm so sorry to keep you waiting for probably about like six hours. So he's allowed in. Oh, I like how red your car is. And also how ridiculously massive it is. So, okay, we're still looking for... Yes, uh, Albrack and Green. So if you are Albrack, you might be the problem. But you are not so far. And, uh, nope, okay. But, carrying goods from a uh, okay. Okay, well, that that's just unacceptable. Completely, 100% unacceptable. Everything else is uh, fine by the looks of it. Except, no. No, 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 no. Your entry permit is also out of date. That expired, so okay. One, you can't come in because you're carrying uh, goods uh, from a uh, okay. And two, yes, uh, I know for a fact that you have got expiration date problems. Also, I'm going to be now checking the list to make sure we get everything right. Let's just crack this open and... Buddy. Buddy, 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 buddy. I don't think that's what you had written on your list at all. You know what, sir? I apologise. Your cargo is, in fact, correct. Assuming that is. Hang about. Just just out of interest. Just out of interest. I could unpack the toilet in order to examine it. But, you know what? Just, just for safety. I think we're okay, actually. I think we're just fine. So, you, sir. You're not allowed in, but I don't think you're smuggling. You just, yes, have problems with your, uh, yes... 
various bits and pieces. You can't come in in general. Document is out of date regardless. You, sir, you cannot come in. So, okay, not every smuggler is always guaranteed to show up. Sometimes, you know, just because you're warned that something might be about to appear, it doesn't mean it's coming this day. And uh, I think I just did really bloody well. So, okay. The day is now over. I've not messed up that much at all. But now we can focus on, yes, whether we would like to upgrade anything. Because it costs me $150 a day just to maintain this area. Apparently I pay for like everybody's wages or whatnot. This is like, you know, my personal border post. So I can also spend $600 upgrading various bits and pieces. The trailer I live in, just on the other side of the road there. So yes, that would get my maximum of health imported during shootouts. As I say, this is potentially going to go bananas at some point, which is marvellous. And also my perception level, so I can do auto checks without having to rely on my own perception. Alternatively, yes, we can make Constable Maximoff a little bit better. Or alternatively, alternatively, I could upgrade my police van. Faster, more durable, etc, etc. And the reason I point that out is because, yes indeed, you don't just live in the border post. There's an entire cocking world you could go and explore. Drive around, occasionally, you know, take your prisoners to work in the labour camp. I never said I was the good guy here, alright? But yeah, the problem we've got here is, yeah, I'm already up to two out of three prisoners in the cells. So, uh, at some point we're going to need to, you know upgrade the cells. Hang about, how do we go upgrading the cells? Ah, here we go. There are sub-menus within the menu. So yes, the warehouse, so we can put stuff in it. And $900 to upgrade the prison, probably a bad idea, because yes, then I would literally go bankrupt when I try and pay everyone's wages. Okay, for the time being, I'm going to, yes, just hold on to my money, go to bed, because, yes, I suspect as time goes by, more and more rules are coming in, and things are going to get more and more bloody complicated, but, oh, It's just got that same highly addictive quality as Papers, Please does, which is marvellous. So, there we go, pay everyone's wages, etc, etc, up to a very healthy $800. And now... It is the following morning, time to check in with, yes, what's new in terms of uh, rules, uh, smugglers, uh, etc, etc. So, okay, what have we got today, buddies? As far as I can tell, nothing new. So, okay, we're still looking for someone from our barrack and someone in a green vehicle. Beyond that, no other additional rules. So, uh, alright, buddy, straight on through, we now know what we're doing. Oh, bloody hell. Okay, you'd have thought you guys would have got the message by now. You're not allowed in with cargo. No cucumbers from the bastards of Urke. Which is a shame because his documents are fine. His cargo manifest is correct. There's, uh, yeah, there's nothing wrong here. But just make sure we remember to, yes, fill out the inspection report. Everything else is, well, hang on. Just double check the photo. Yep, seems legit. Everything else is fine. I'm so sorry, sir, but you can't actually come in even though you are completely 100% legitimate. I forgot to give you your cargo back. Sorry, we're not stealing that. We're just not letting it in. Right, so he's a little bit annoyed about the whole situation. We just, yes, have him a turn around and I forgot to close up his van. I'm very sorry, but oh, it's a green vehicle. Okay, we, uh, we know. We know that, oh. I got $60, not 100 Possibly I missed something, but it was still good enough to, like, you know, pass. Right, yeah. So, uh, hello there, sir. I'm not saying you're definitely, you know, trying to bring in contraband, but I am somewhat suspicious of you, just as a starting point. Oh, I'm sorry. You're saying you're bringing in one load of gravel in a truck this big. Do you think I'm an idiot, sir? Right, so let's just make sure we've got everything correct here. Everything else looks right, to be honest. You're just in date. Yep, photo is acceptable. He's changed his hat. I think that's okay. But yes, problem is, I suspect the cargo list is definitely going to be an issue here. So just... Then again, maybe one gravel is a lot more gravel than I would expect it to be. But you know what? Screw it. We're definitely going to be unloading this if we... Apparently I can't... Well, you know what? That's fair. It would be difficult to unload a giant pile of gravel. Okay, technically, so far, 
everything's legit. We're just going to be having a, a little bit of a, a poke around uh, to make sure that everything looks nice and uh, legitimate because your vehicle is green. Okay, out of the vehicle, please, sir. Out of the vehicle. This whole green thing might just be a massive uh, red herring. I'm not seeing any signs of uh, trouble. Crack that open. I'm going to be honest, this seems legit. Okay, I can't arrest him purely on grounds of a possession of a green truck. That's not allowed. So, all right. I think he's allowed to go on his way. I'm so sorry for, uh, yes, causing you trouble there, sir. Right, I'm so sorry. You can actually, uh, yes, go on your way now. It turns out you are completely 100% legit, as far as I can tell. And... Okay, um, things, things just went wrong. We're, we're under attack for some reason. Does anyone know which direction they're coming? Cock! Cock! Can I come with you, please? Because I don't know which direction they're... Where, where are they? Where, where are the people who are attacking us? Because well, other people are shooting. Oh, that! Oh, there's so cocking many. There's so cocking many. This, this. Oh, this is this is a problem. Okay, we just need to survive until the end of the attack. Just take out the people who are close by. That's fine. Just stay down. Maybe like reload and whatnot. Bloody! Oh, there's so many. There's so no, 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 no. One to the head, please. One to the. John, need to need to figure out how the controls for the, for the guard are actually. I've got no cocking ammo on me, do I? Okay, I've kind of just spent uh, kind of just spent all my ammo. Okay, would you guys mind like covering me? I need to go and get more ammo from the from the ammo stores, cause cause I don't I don't. I'm just gonna stay bloody hell. Right, just help myself to the uh, the ammo. Bring that over here. Great. Now I can. Right. I can now. Oh, I'm so sorry, Steve. That that was on me. That was that was definitely on me. And boom. Done. And boom. One more. Down he goes. Okay. So, there are also occasionally just attacks. On, uh, yes, the settlement. And unfortunately, because someone went down, I had to pay $100 to get them back up on their feet. Which, given they were just shot, is a really good deal. Also, apparently, that guy I got completely right. Though I got a bit distracted by, you know, the attack as we were going. Right, um, lesson learned. I should probably be carrying more ammunition on me. Like, all the time. Also, apparently we can't have the ammo off their bodies, which I really feel like we should do, given we do not have much of it. Oh, hang on. Yes, we do. That's not bullets. That's number of full clips. So, okay, fine. Turns out we're now A-OK -okay for ammo. Also, John, put the pitchfork away. It kind of gives a bad first impression to the people who are visiting our great nation. So, okay, same again. Still our barracks, still green. So, hopefully, you're fine. Right, buddy? Okay, Kingdom of Urke, but yeah, not carrying any cargo. So unless we find cargo, we should be fine. Everything else would appear to be A-OK, -okay, best as I can tell. He's also... Right, this guy is a trader. So as well as, you know, just dealing with him, we can also just, you know, have a nice chat with him with a bit of a black market trading, which you can potentially make some good money off. So you're selling toilet paper, packs of coffee... Bags of potatoes. That seems expensive. All of this seems quite expensive, actually. You know what? Just for fun, I might actually be taking... Yeah, I'll take some toilet paper off you. It's only $23. Hold it in the inventory. We might be able to make some money off that down the line. So yeah, so far this all looks completely 100% legit. Now I'm just going to check there's no... Yeah, cargo. Doesn't look like it. He's not, yeah, on the watch list for smugglers. So, yep, yeah, you, sir, go in peace. Enjoy our great nation. Right, on he goes. Bring in the next truck. A giant blue truck. So this is probably going to be a cargo check. Valid inspection. Okay, we are doing well so far. This is marvellous. So, sir, crack you open. And, oh, blimey. Good evil staring eyes. I love it. Sir, this is clearly not you. Okay, or if it is, you've changed your facial hair, which means you should definitely get a new passport. We've also got, okay, we've got expiration date problems uh, right here on the passport. The passport number is, meanwhile, it is legit, it's just out of date. You're also from, buddy, 
Why did you even bother coming here today? This was just a bad idea for you. Right, well, let's make sure we've just dotted all the I's, crossed all the T's. Uh, crack this open. Get inside here. And, yes, analyze all the animals. Right, the cargo manifest is correct, so we can't hold that against him. So... I can't arrest him because he's not trying to do any smuggling, but I'm not allowing him in either. So I'm so sorry, but I don't get to say go in peace to you. Oh, but then again. Okay, now cigarettes at $13. We've got to be able to make a profit off that. So okay, you can't come in to sell your chickens, but you do get to sell your cigarettes. So let's call it even. Right, you are unfortunately denied on multiple accounts. Sorry about that, buddy. Off you flipping go. In comes the next. We've got a big red truck. So, okay, probably more cargo. Just put that away. Lovely. We're still looking for two smugglers. So, okay, you're not green. And that was... Oh! Now, that's a good noise. Fine, I've been promoted. Marvellous. Okay, sir, you are right. You're coming home. That's our symbol. It's the same as is on the handbook. Frank R. Sakharov. That's legit. Matches all three documents. That's all fine too. Yep, so far this all looks pretty smooth and easy. Right, don't mind me, sir. I just need to quickly, yes, take a manifest of all these here goods. No need to unpack as far as I can see. Sir, I'm not accusing you of anything, but I've decided I would like to just check behind the things at the back to make sure there's nothing else here. And there was indeed nothing else here, so, uh, alright, compare like for like. Uh, one oil barrel, check. Cheese is acceptable. Soap is acceptable. Cereal is fine. Fertilizer. Yep, everything's fine. And that might be everything today, because uh, there we go. That was apparently a completed day, somewhere around 6pm. I'm going to say I did some good work there, aside from the bit where someone was shot. And okay, just because the day's over. The prison is definitely getting really, really full. I'm just going to take these guys out to the, uh, yes, hang on. No, don't let him go. Transfer you to the police car. Right, we've still got some hours of daylight. We did that pretty efficiently. So they've now been transferred to, yes, the police van. So it's my job to take them to the labor camp. So yes, I need to take a right, follow the road, then take another right. Then it should be on the right. So okay, just double check everything is here. We can also actually, yeah, potentially take the contraband with us. Though, wait, what happened to all of that guy's cigarettes? We definitely got some cigarettes at some point. What happened to them? Oh, they're all here. Right, okay, so we should probably, yes, go and drop this off too. So, okay, this is, this is fine. Take the counterfeit money, all the cigarettes. Right, we're gonna do a little tour just to make sure we've cleared out everything that we need here. So that there, that's all absolutely fine. And we should get on with it because, yes, it's gonna get dark soon. I'm not sure whether at some point I might just fall asleep, which would be bad because then the prisoners would escape. So let's take care of them first. That's probably, yes, for the better. So just, uh... Pop all of this in here. Not the stuff I've been buying, though. That we keep lovely. So, okay. Contraband in play. This here as well. And now we just go and do some lovely driving. And go and deliver the oh dear. There might possibly be, uh, yes, like gun people on the road. As I say, this game's got a lot of stuff going on. It's like way busier than you might expect. It's not just a dumb simulator where you're in one tiny environment. No, 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 no. There's all sorts of nonsense going on. Really fun thing, by the way, there is no minimap while you're out driving. You've got to plan your route ahead of time and make sure you know where you're supposed to be going. So... Okay, we've got... Oh, I've just been ambushed by... Okay, maybe we just... Okay, labor... No, no, no. Okay, excuse me, sir. I need to... This was a bad moment to need to overtake you. Just escape the enemies right now. When we make it to the labor camp, please accelerate. We're being attacked by people with guns. That's the old ruins. Okay, that means I've not made it to the labor camp just yet. Right. So, occasionally, we're going to get ambushed out on the road. That's good. That's, that's excellent news. I think this might be... On the right in a second. There should be a turn in any moment now, hopefully. Otherwise, okay, I might need to stop and get the map out, actually. Nope, no one made it. The labor camp, brilliant. So, guys, welcome to your new home. 
I'm not going to lie, it's probably not going to be fun. So, just to stop the vehicle. Just hang on. Stop engine. Hop out. I think the door of my vehicle may have just been shot off by those bastards. Also, yep, yeah, one, one thing is broken. But that's fine. Hello there, I've got some lovely people for you. Just help clear out my prison. And that gets me some money as well. Lovely. Money I'm going to need to repair the truck that just got its door shot off. Avoid, yes, the ambush there as we've not taken those guys out. Just take a right and then just keep following the road straight on. Eventually we hit T-junction. Left, we'll get to the police base. That's where I can turn in the contraband. Right, turn her around. Straight back out to the labor camp. And uh, yes, things are definitely getting... Don't, you know, get immediately rammed or anything. Yes, things are getting nasty. And also, I've now only got one, uh, you know, light on the front of my van. So, if I get ambushed again, they take out the other one. It could be a bit of a difficult drive home, potentially. Here we go. I just hit a T-junction. So, this should be the police base right here on the right. Lovely. Guys, I've got... So sorry about that. I did not mean to damage your fence post. I'm very sorry. Just a straight in over here. Try not to hit anybody else. Sorry for the state of the van. Turns out there are armed gunmen on the road these days. And yes, if I had to guess, actually, this is not the best way to make money. Like, potentially, that was $68. Bloody hell. Okay, valuable lesson learned. You can make good money by, yes, ferrying prisoners to the labor camp, but, uh, yes. Turning in contraband, uh, that's a mug's game. Right there. You do not make money doing that. Okay, I am buying one extra guard for, yes, this area, and uh, you look pretty good. You look like you're, like, standing in some form of a tower or barricade or something, so... Uh, I am increasing the amount of money I have to pay each day in wages. But we're going to have a, yeah, more people available to defend the place. And speaking of which, yes, my good friend Maximov, he's getting himself one submachine gun and some proper armor. So, okay, that's good. And if I were to put even more in, blimey a rifle and a vest and a helmet and whatnot. No, that's good enough as a starting point. Now, I've done all that. $200 a day. You know what? I'm giving some more people some upgrades too. It's pretty cheap, all things considered. You, sir, the chap on my possibly tower, I'm not sure. Yeah, you don't get a submachine gun. You get a flipping rifle. So, okay, now we're up to 225. That's acceptable. I'm gonna hold the rest of the money. That's all A-OK. -okay. So now, now we're under control. So, all right, we are ready to go. We are so keen. In fact, yes, the barrier is up before the first car has even bloody made it. And... Uh, it's not green, so we're off to a good start. Oh my goodness, I love it. It's tiny, but it's got a go faster stripe on it. Brilliant. Oh, sir. Sir, 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 sir. I can't help but notice. Right, we might finally have come across our guy here. So, uh, yes, people from this nation are allowed in in general, assuming they pass, you know, all the usual checks. So, uh, speaking of which, name is uh, fine, documents are in date, just passport is uh, a okay as well. Okay. Step one, we're just going to verify that this all seems legitimate. Crack this open. Okay, this is a very, very small vehicle. Sir, please step out of the car. We need to perform a search. All right, he's being nice and chill so far. Just in we go. Need to go to the back. And I'm going to unpack this because I am slightly suspicious. There might be something going on here. So, okay, that's... That's all he has. Unless, of course, there's, like, more storage. Uh, yeah, there's more storage at the front here. Because the engine was at the rear. In all fairness, that is correct. Okay. Give it a scan. Oh! Sir. Sir, 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 sir. I think in just a moment. Right. A small amount of cigarettes, you say. Sir. I think you have just committed a bit of a... Right. You say it's a small amount of cigarettes. I can't help but notice that, uh, yes, I found uh, yet more cocking cigarettes. Right, sir, stay still. We're going to be searching your vehicle. 
at this point because uh, I strongly suspect there could, in theory, be more. Then again, actually, he doesn't seem like, you know, a genius smuggler. He was just keeping them in his bloody luggage. So, actually, I think that might be it. You, sir, are a smuggler. I'm so sorry, but you're under arrest for attempting to cross the border with these here cigarettes, which I am not going to, uh, yes, pop inside the evidence locker. I might do at the end of the day, but now we know that, yes, the actual police base pays nothing for them. Potentially, we might choose to, uh, yes, do something a bit more interesting Hello. with them. Oh, Maximoff, you are looking so much better. So smuggling has been taken care of. We're now down to just the green vehicle. So unless they're in green, I think now they can't be smugglers. They can still make like, you know, other mistakes and whatnot. But yeah, they can't be smugglers. I think you're always told about the smugglers. Okay, it turns out I made a really, really bad trade on that toilet paper, by the way. Because yes, another person's just rocked up who's buying it. And he's buying it for, yes, significantly less than I bought it for. So, okay, well done, John, you bloody genius. Still no problem with him other than that. To go in peace, good sir. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. A truck just showed up, but, um, okay. The guy's saying I have to take this course to pay off my debt. Please let me in. So, okay, the passport number is fine. The things are, oh, sir, your entry permit is out of date. I'm so sorry, but let's just go over this properly. Also, you're also from Urkang, so you're not supposed to be. Right, sir. There's a let it slide that my document is at three days out of date. And then there's a, hey, I'm coming in with a giant truck full of goods from the country it's illegal to import goods from. Okay, you, sir, are taking the mech. To his credit, the manifest is correct, and it's only carrying, yeah, hay and apples. Uh, if it had been one error, I might have been willing to let it pass. But I can't let you go on two. I'm so sorry, sir. You're just going to have to be popping back the way you came. Okay, but on the plus side, before we do that, he's willing to buy toilet paper at $1 more than I bought it for. So, okay, bare minimum, that's good. Though, oh. Okay, I can't just sell cigarettes. Even though he's buying cigarettes... Yes, and he's also buying them for, once again, less than I bought them for. I am terrible at this black market business. Yeah, unfortunately, you can't just sell giant packs of cigarettes. They're maybe, like, too conspicuous or whatnot. Right, I'm so sorry, sir, but yes, indeed. There are just too many problems with your paperwork. I'm so, so sorry. So you can just uh, mosey on back the way you came. Looks like we've got one last vehicle today, and it is... Not green. Better and better. Okay, I kind of want to refuse him just on grounds of his haircut and, yes, uh, clothing. Because, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. No, 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 no. Okay, hang on. Here's interesting. The stamps on the two documents. He's officially from our nation, but... Okay, just show me information about our nation, which is... No, that is legitimate. Okay, the sun is an acceptable stamp. Right, I was a bit suspicious of that, but those do match, just maybe they are, yeah, different dated documents. But sir, that does not change the fact that you have just a bloody come in with a document that is, yeah, too late. I'm so glad that this terrible man with his terrible haircut and terrible clothes was not allowed into the nation. I feel like I've done a good deed for the day there. Marvellous. Right, we are swimming in money. We've also got you right here. But yes, there's still enough space for two more people. I feel like, yeah, we're making enough money right now that we can definitely afford to further upgrade our base. Actually, that is true. The guy who we just hired, where precisely is he located? Because I know we hired a guy... Where is he actually? Because you were already here. Then there was the mechanic. There's the guy on, yeah, the front right here. Where precisely is the extra guy we hired? I have uh, no idea. So I really hope he shows up like, you know, next time we get uh, shot at. Okay, step one. Everybody's getting upgraded to actually have like, you know, guns and whatnot. That will be very bloody useful. Oh, hello, sexy. 
middle of the night, a call has just come in. So I suspect something may be about to happen. Something, you know, potentially dramatic and involving me being shot at again. Oh my goodness, they've tracked down the traitor Gavriloff! And maybe, oh bloody hell. I feel like, no, no, I'm literally the least qualified person to go there and follow him. Like, you know, I don't actually have a good gun. Literally all my men, oh, we're in a cocking hurry. Right, okay, should have maybe like upgraded the van or my weapons or anything actually. Okay, there's, ooh. Thank you for getting the stealth car out. Good foresight there. So, okay, I've got to go to Vlad's tools, and I've got to avoid potential trouble. Though, by the looks of it, yes, the ambush isn't there. So, take a right, just past the motel. Yeah, carry straight on. There should be, like, a small bridge or something. That should get me to Vlad's tools. So, okay. This is, this is great. I'm on a proper timer. Oh, where's the ignition in this thing? Right, lights on. Maybe not lights on, actually. Lights on might be bad, because lights on might, you know, rather give away my position. Yes, there's like a traitor. There's a wider plot going on. Traitor working with the people who was shooting at me. So keep going down the road. This car seems a fair whack faster. There's the... Oh, cock meat also handles a bit more loosely. There's the motel. It's a very big motel for, you know, the general smallness of the area. But what can you do? And now we're looking for a turn. Is that just a car park? That's just a car park. There needs to be a turn into a smaller road somewhere around here. Hang about. I may possibly have already missed it. Oh, never mind. No, there's a turn off to the left here. And is that... Yep, Vlad shop. I think we're getting close. Okay, slow it down. And... When it says follow him, okay, definitely lights, lights off. Follow Gavriloff, stop. There he is. Don't mind me. Completely not suspicious person in the middle of the road. Really hope he doesn't come this way. Otherwise, yes, I'm going to have to literally get out of his way. And now, yeah, with no lights on. We're following him. Lovely. We're following the traitor who betrayed us in some way or another. Probably he was behind that shooting that occurred earlier. That cost me $100, you deck. Okay, taking a left to make sure we don't lose sight of him. He becomes suspicious if you get too close, but too far away. I can't cocking see him anymore. So, okay, slow it down. I don't know where we are on the map right now. We are on a small side route. Pass it by what looks like a junkyard, perhaps. We need to try and recreate this route later. We took a left just beyond Vlad's. The car appears to be stationary. Am I not supposed to be following him like on... Uh-oh. I'm now supposed to be following... Okay, wait, 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 wait. Okay, stop, 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 stop. Stop the engine. Out the car. We're now going on foot. I don't know how to crouch. Going to crouch mode. There we go. Maybe keep the gun out just in case. Like having a gun out is not, you know, inherently more or less stealthy. Just follow him. I need to figure out where I am. Just a very... Okay. Quickly check where I am. And... Gosh darn it, he noticed me. Oh, thankfully there's a checkpoint right here. Good. That's that's very generous of you, game. So, okay, seriously, where am I right now? I am... Okay. Nearby to the sawmill. Just north of the sawmill. So we need to follow him without being spotted. Possibly having a gun out is more suspicious. Because on this occasion he seems... Uh, Way less interested. Also, possibly bushes affect stealth. Who cocking knows? Okay, here we go. It's definitely more about line of sight than distance. If you're just behind a tree, he can't spot you. So, okay. This game has also just got a fairly sophisticated stealth line of sight system going on in it. Marvelous. And it looks to me like, yes, there's something lit up nearby to him. He's going into some form of a lit up area. I think we found it. I think we found his secret enemy shack. And now we have to... Oh, now we have to confront him. Okay, definitely gun out. In that case, just prepare. Really hope he's here on his own, by the way. Because otherwise it could be problems. Oh. He knew I was there the whole cocking time. Right, 
Gavrilov. Let's me and you have a nice chat. I know you've been here a short time. You don't know the whole truth. This tyrant, Akarov, gets rid of everyone who strives for freedom and democracy. Okay, I'm going to be honest, I kind of figured I might be the bad guy, given I was driving prisoners who were guilty of trying to get some cigarettes over the border to a labor camp. Okay, so I'm now being recruited, basically, and uh, I'm going to be honest, yes, that whole we take prisoners to labor camps thing, that's the bit I keep coming back to. Like, that just, I feel like, is definitely the sign of a regime that might be a bad regime. Like, this one's probably not any better, but I feel like, you know, let's at the bare minimum give them a go. Okay, I've decided I'm gonna let you go for now, though if you could please stop sending your people to like try and shoot me, because I'm pretty sure your people did try and shoot me just yesterday, that would be appreciated. Oh, and better and better, he paid me $400 for that, beautiful. And of course another day means another giant pile of cars who would like to come through, people who have got the wrong paperwork, people who shouldn't be here in the first place, and now possibly, yes, people who are part of an uprising that I may have just slightly assisted in some capacity or another, so uh, things are going to get complicated in a hurry. But I would say I suspect you get the point. This here is contraband police, and uh, it's very easy to assume just from the name and the graphics and whatnot, this is just going to be a very bare bones silly physics -y simulator. And that's what I expected going in, but actually, there's a lot going on here. There's a lot I really like. I really appreciate there's a, a surprisingly complex stealth system and a map you can drive around and explore. There's going to be gun attacks and car chases and all sorts of bits and pieces. So, uh, color me pleasantly surprised. I genuinely wasn't expecting anything near this complex or deep, so... Uh, Okay, watch this space. We might have a dumb, fun contraband police live stream at some point in the coming weeks. So uh, let me know if you'd be interested in that. We shall flipping see. But in the meantime, I've been John. This has been many a true nerd. And this has been the really rather entertaining contraband police. Thank you very much and goodbye. Wait, wait. And flamethrower! 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 Okay, so this is... This is definitely morally questionable. The point where you start singing the flamethrower song, potentially you've gone over the line.